Good morning, everybody, and welcome to Wake Up Missoula. Uh, hello, everyone. Also, <laughs> yes, my name is Noelle McFoy. Welcome to Wake Up Missoula. And I'm Scott Ram. <laughs> you threw me off, Scott. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. That was Asaf Adonai on piano. Asaf, what tune was that? That is called um, Hernando's Hideaway from Pajama Game. Yes. Cool. I like it. It's very, I feel very like mysterious. So like I should be like, do, 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 do. I, every time I hear that song, I always think of uh, uh, my old uh, principal from um, kindergarten <laughs> singing that song for the, uh, I can't remember their name. Um, it's the, it's the women's singing group here in town. Oh, the Sweet Adeline? Yes. The Sweet nice. Adeline sing this song all the time. That's really cute. And you were kindergarten, you were like, yeah, I love this song. Well, no, 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 no. They didn't sing the song, but the, the principal who runs the uh, Sweet Adeline's, Candy Johnson, she, they always sing the song in the Sweet Adeline's. Oh, that's cute. But I, the, the first time I heard them sing the song was probably about like four or five years ago, but they sing oh. it every year. Oh, that's nice. That you're... Your story just totally confused. It was the a heck really I thought you were story. in kindergarten, the principal of your kindergarten. <laughs> That's what you, I don't know. Oh, I'll throw you off. <laughs> um, so let's talk about uh, weather for a little oh, bit. Okay. So it's going to be great. It's going to be a great weekend for your fair time. So if you guys are planning on going to the fair, today would be the day to go. Your high is going to be into the 80s. So it's a little hot, but you can manage. It's not going to be like in the 90s. Uh, by the time it gets to um, you know next week, next week you can expect your highs to get in the high 80s, maybe even to the uh, low to mid 90s starting next week. But of course, this weekend and today and tonight, it's all going to be perfectly nice. With of course the uh, um, with an average of 30 degrees up and down. Nice. Yeah, but yeah, for 49 degrees outside, it was a cool morning. Mm -hmm. Dew on my window windshield. Cute little dude. Cute little dude. Just hanging out there. Yeah, I thought it was a nice morning too. Not too cold last night. I didn't wake up freezing. But it is starting to get colder at night. And if you guys have noticed that the sun is starting to set a little earlier. Yes. Which is kind of always sad. It's That's nice how you know summer is winding down, going into another long winter. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, we, you know, we didn't really have a, like, I guess spring has just been kind of, like, replaced summer in a way. Yeah, it's, it's so weird. It's been a very spring summer. Very interesting summer, yeah. And I'd say there was, like, maybe, like, two weeks where it was really 90 degrees. And other places in eastern Montana had flood warnings mm -hmm. here and there. Mm -hmm. uh, like I've Great Falls a, flooded. A couple of the uh, um, farms in um, eastern Montana, their crops were destroyed by hail. Wow. Yeah, there, there's, a, uh, there's a farmer who uh, farmed barley. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And their whole crop was completely ruined, a hundred percent ruined. That's awful. And I heard they didn't even have insurance. Oh my gosh. Yeah, it's insane. That's it's, awful. But it, it's been like it's been strangely common a lot because like the last couple of years, there's just been a lot of like the weather. It just has not been, you know, good mm -hmm. a lot of ways. And like I always, I mean, like when I, in terms of farming too, I always go to Benson's farm for their vegetables and produce, whatever they have. And they said they're not going to be able to. Uh, have produce or anything until late August. Wow. And they usually start neat. doing their stuff until mid-July to yeah. um, our early August. That's mm -hmm. when they usually start selling some of their stuff, but I haven't seen anything. Even like uh, the farmer's market, I haven't seen Dixon Melons yet. Really? Interesting. Yeah, they usually have Dixon Melons around yeah, this time. Yeah, and it's because of cooler summer. Interesting. It, huh. Well, climate change is a real thing, everyone. Mm -hmm. And we really need to but be a lot aware. Of, I mean, the, a lot of people, people people say that this has been a really good year for uh, planting and gardening. But, mm -hmm. of course, it's all hindsight. Yeah. Nobody knew that they could have planted maybe a month earlier than yes. they would have liked it's to. It's true. The, yep. the, the, this was the perfect year to plant early if you knew now, then. Mm -hmm. But, of course, you never know now what you know then. But I guess I have heard that the farmer, the farmer's almanac is pretty accurate. And so I guess those planters and gardeners, if they really want to get into it, they could just read that. Right. But I've heard that's fairly accurate. Yeah. But I don't know. But, yeah, it, it, it's all, like, make or break depending upon when you start mm -hmm. the week to week. You know, you, you know, like, when you plant something in a week, you like... It's the first one that goes to the table. Yeah. It's the first one that you can sell. It's just like, oh man, I should have planted it early. <laughs> <laughs> Old man true. Smith, they Old beat me to the Smith. punch. <laughs> that jerk. <laughs> he has a whole week worth of produce that I'm never going to get to. Old man Smith. And then like, Old man Smith is like, hey, Old man Jenkins, you can get the remains. <laughs> Anyways, but you can get the re uh, the remaining of our morning show by logging on to our website, wakeupmizzle.wix.com slash wakeupmizzle. It's a nice to meet you right out twice. You can find out all, all about us, past episodes, past interviews, and more. 
by logging on to that website. You can also like us on our Facebook page. You can also follow us on our Twitter page at Wake Up Missoula. Missoula Community Access Television also has a Twitter page. You can follow us at MCAT TV Missoula. You can like us on our Facebook page, and to find out more information, just check us out on MCAT.org. Yes, but of course, um, I did all the community meetings on Wednesday. Oh, how was that? And I didn't, re like, honestly, when I was watching, I was like, there's no really thing, nothing to report on. But of course, I do suggest you guys see the Committee of the Whole, because they do talk about what's happening with the water system. Oh. Because uh, it is, uh, of course, the Montana Supreme Court did rule in favor of Missoula and the, yep. the PSC because, you know, they, they, they just sold without con um, talking to the PSC. And then, of course, now there's a pending um, lawsuit against uh, the Carlisle Group, specifically uh, Robert Dove, the president of Carlisle, mm -hmm. who basically was in charge of selling. He's, he's, he's an investor. He, mm -hmm. he's, he uh, has Missoula Water Company. To him, was a holding company. And he just wanted to find the best bidder to sell it to. Yep. And it wasn't it wasn't just Missoula Water Company. It was two other water installations as well. They actually tried to sell it as a package rather than just as one water company. Interesting. And so where were the two other water? Um... Uh, California, I think it was, and then there was another one. It's like Park Water, Mountain Water, and another one. I can't think of them just right now. But Interesting. It was like a, they wanted like a package deal to sell it to Liberty. Mm-hmm. Canadian company. Yeah. And now they're just trying to figure it out, this and that. And of course, they're they're trying to um, get a new lawsuit in order. It's like, it's unlawful. We have to go to the United States Supreme Court because it, it goes higher and higher, of course. It's true, but it, now that they sold it to a company in Canada, I wonder how that's different if they well, have they, to go to the Canadian Supreme Court because it's no longer American. It's it's really so it, because it, really but it's in America. So a lot of times it's like in America, it's like, what are they going to do? They're going to come down here and try to take. Um, a company in America. I, well, they so sold weird. it. The Carlisle Group sold it to was it Liberty Utility, yeah. and they're in they were supposed Canada. To, they were supposed to consult the PSC, yeah. the uh, Public Service Commission, First. before they could do that. So that was the kind of like, the general gist of what I learned from the um, yeah. committee meetings. And of course, here and there, uh, uh, the uh, this the MCPS is actually doing really well in terms of construction and building um, new buildings. So they're going to be. Uh, putting some of the kids in a, a, a Jefferson School, mm -hmm. which is uh, that school that's off of South Street, that's usually like their swing school space. Mm -hmm. So they're gonna utilize that school for the first half of the year, and they said that the first um, school that will be done by December. Oh, cool, so okay. They, they said that construction nice. basically is gonna start in any, any week now, and they're gonna start working on their new schools and new system like that. And they said that their uh, bond interest is at 1.6 interest rate, which is actually a really good interest rate in terms of this. So um, they're gonna, Hooray. they said they're gonna try to find, a, they're defining ways to uh, make it easier on the taxpayers for sure. Cool. Mm -hmm. Well, so I'm really glad that Missoula passed that bond and nice. But of course, you can find out all that information by logging on to the city of Missoula's website, um, ci.missoula.mt.us. And you can uh, find out all the information. You can watch meetings and more. And I, I'll just go through it with you guys because I don't have any new programming, but I have old programming that I can show you from the city. So if you go to your government, we'll zoom in a little more. You go to your government, and then you go on down to agenda, webcasts, and minutes, just below where it says city council. I want to watch the city council report. Okay, let's go see city council webcast. You click on that, it brings you to this nice little page right here. And of course, you see all this stuff. You see all the meetings and all that stuff. And of course, if you see minutes, MP3, MP4, that means they have a video available. This one, transport, uh, transportation, um, uh, TPCC meeting, that's uh, that's going to be coming up. And you can see the agenda of any upcoming meetings. But of course, if you click on agenda, you get the um, whole agenda and the video at the top right hand corner of the website but of course it takes it might take a little while to load because it's not only loading the video but it's also loading the um, agenda as well along with the links in the agenda which is really cool because you can click on any of these links and okay so yeah you can click on any of these hyperlinks right here and it'll take you to a certain specific point in the meeting that happened which is a really good tool for uh, that I use constantly yeah. for uh, the city council report and of course you too can uh, learn more information about this by logging onto the website again ci.missoula.mt.us and uh, since we're on a roll with uh, more video on demand stuff I do want to go to mcat.org where you can find your local government um, you just click on this link and it basically takes you to the the most recent um, city council meeting that was aired 
Um, so if you click on um, 189 or 190, it will take you to our video on demand page. So these are a nice video on demand page. And you can see the very top one is the newest one, and it goes to the, from the newest to oldest, from the most recent um, uploaded videos. And of course, we have um, featured content. And it looks like we have a new uh, look before you speak that's already on our video on demand. So I guys, I uh, suggest you guys check that out. Um, it's uh, one of the. She's a photographer, um, Jessica Vizucci. Vizucci. Yep. Nice. And she talks about some of the art here in town as well. Cool. And of course, um, some of the art that was featured um, at the Missouri Art Museum mm -hmm. um, in the last year. And um, she talks about it a little more. And it, 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 I like this show specifically because it's artists talking about other artists. It's not artists talking about themselves, which, you know, it's, it's too common for an artist to talk about themselves in a lot of these shows, true. which is why this show was kind of created for, it's like kind of like Look Before You Speak. And it's a great show, and I suggest you guys check that out. It's, it's on the like video on demand page. It's like an artist show for artists, mm -hmm. pretty much. It's artist appreciation show. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. awesome. Mm -hmm. But of course, I do have a video from. Uh, of course, I want to promote our uh, boys and girls club. They're coming in this week, and of course, next week will be the last week uh, coming into um, MCAT to learn about MCAT, to make movies, and most of all, just get, kind of get an experience of what it's like to um, hold a camera, uh, edit and just do all sorts of things. So, yeah. so of course I have a movie that I showed last year that I'm gonna show again this year and then I'm gonna show the sequel that we filmed the other day of this one because nice. apparently we had a couple of Virturian kids from last year's And movie. they remembered it? Mm -hmm. Cute. And of course you remember this movie. It's, yeah. It Get Bob and it features a Furby oh. from outer space. It's kind of like E.T. but it's just like really fast and really quickly done. So, uh, and then when we come back we'll have events with Noel and musical notes with ASAP. So um, stay with us. He's over there! Where did he go? He went that way! I'm bored. Let's mess with Samantha. I agree. I can hear you. What are you talking about? Nothing. Look that way. Ew. Ow, my back. Ha ha. Ew. What is that? Ha. Oh. I don't think he's gonna hurt us. Hold, hold. Um, we just gotta sh show you something. Um, now don't freak out. Will you just settle down? Um, can you look up this thing on your computer? Nope, couldn't find anything. I call Bob. I call Bob's the burger. I want to call her Gigi. Gigi Bob. How about let's call him Gigi Bob? No, let's just call her Gigi. Gigi Bob. Boy. It's a girl. Boy. It's a girl. Boy. It's a girl. It's obviously a girl. Boy. It's obviously a girl. Boy. I'm gonna name it Kiki. No. I'm gonna name it Bob the Burgers. I heard you know red creatures. Maybe. We can either make you a rich man or a broke man. We go over there. Get them. What we can do? Help us, Bob. That's okay. Yeah. We need an assassin. You call for greed? Yes. I need to bring back alive. Alive? I need to act like a witch. Oh man, that was a close one.
I think we've been wanting forever. You mean Bob. What's this? I think he'll have tracks. I got what you it, wanted. It, 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 it. Well, well, well. Looks like this chair doesn't speak anymore. Whatever one of you fix this, I won't give you a penny. <laughs> Can you help us find the bad guys there? Maybe. If you do, we'll tell you the world's greatest secret. Ooh, let me find it. Should I have you stuck? Or unstuck? Give us the, the Furby. I'm, I'm not giving you this back. Give us back the Bob. No. Give me Gigi. Yeah? You're gonna have to get past my assassin tree first. My name is Creed and I am the assassin. That's stupid. No, you're stupid. You're stupid for coming in our lair with all our technology and stuff. Gigi, run! Hey, took him! Not so fast! Oh no, what do we do? Help us, Bob! Oh, he's gonna explode! Run! Where did he go? Hi guys, we are back and we've got some community events. Okay, so this is what's going on in your community on Friday. So I've got weekend events, we've got Friday, Saturday, and Sunday since there's so much happening and it's gonna be such a beautiful weekend. So at first, we've got some children's activities for our morning. We're starting at 10 a.m. over at the Children's Museum of Missoula for their body bubble. And I don't know what that is, but it sounds pretty fun. So that's at 10, it goes until two. Uh, up next, we've got Tiny Tales at the Missoula Public Library at 1030. This is for babies ages birth through three years. They sing songs, hear nursery rhymes, play, you, uh, do finger plays, as well as hear stories. And then Family Story Time is also at the Public Library at 1030, but it's a bit of an older crowd, and they just hear stories and then do an art activity right after that. Over at Spectrum Discovery area, at 11 o'clock, their discovery bench is Motion Pictures and their brain lab is Candy DNA. It's $3.50 for anyone four and over. Well, this week has been the Western Montana Fair, and so today is Bike to the Fair free admission day. So if you bike to the fair, you can get in for free. And I would think that starts at, that starts at 11 and the South Side Street entrance only. We have our kids table at the library at 11.30. This is for ages 18 and under to get a free healthy lunch and then they do an activity right after that. We've got a couple more activities at the library today. We've got a watercolor painting class in the makerspace um, at noon and it looks like, it doesn't say who it's with, but it may or may not be with Rob P. Unless Rob P just moved on, went to another home. Of witness protection. Yeah. <laughs> you can call 721-2665 to register. It's from 12 to 2 today in the library. They've got yarns also at the library at noon. This is for those knitters and crocheters to bring their lunch and their latest product to the boardroom and then they can gossip and eat and have a great time. Sounds great. At 3.30 at the Public Library, they've got their teen writers group. This is for teens that need some uh, inspiration or some flourish or some feedback. And then you get to play with words and eat chocolate. Sounds like a pretty, pretty good time. 
Okay, and so this next event is associated with the Western Montana Fair. It's uh, put on by Chicks and Chaps, and it's called Behind the Shoots. It starts at 4.30, and so it's a dinner, drinks, and live music. Um, and then the kids can also, you can bring your kids and you can play supervised games. It's mostly geared towards women, but what it is, is um, these gals are going to teach you all about uh, the stock behind the rodeo. So you'll go behind the shoots to learn about the treatment of the livestock, breeding, timing, and scoring of events, um, and the life of a rodeo contractor and value of the animals. So that's pretty cool because chicks and chaps are associated with rodeo, it's rodeo and it's like a women's rodeo club or you know yeah and so they'll teach you all about that i think that's great and then up next we've got a couple things going on over the zootown arts community center uh they've got a gallery opening for diane oleheft she is doing a water because she's a watercolor artist um her art will be in the hallway gallery for the month of august and this is just an example of what her artwork looks like. Ooh. Yeah, as you can see, it's very vibrant and very colorful. Yeah, it's really good. Yeah. So be sure to uh, support your local artists and check that out. Oh, like, can we take a look at that again? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, uh, because if you look like if you look closely at it, it's like uh, its eyes. It has like a very distinct uh, personality in its uh, eyelash. It totally does. Because I know rhinos. I'm pretty sure rhinos don't have eyelashes, but in this in this sense, yeah, it's uh, um, it, it kind of like has like a um, I don't know. I don't know how to describe it, but I really connect with it right now. I agree, Scott. I think it's absolutely beautiful, and just like the colors on the top of that rhino, like how it's just kind of like the sunlight hitting it, basking it's it. It's like a and, sunset. Yeah, and like all the white all in here. Yeah, it's absolutely beautiful. Watercolor is such a neat element to use. All right, our next um, art show at the Zootet Arts Community Center is called Freedom Within the Frame. This is put on by the Montana Art Therapy Association. So they showcase their traveling art exhibit and it features art from art therapists around Montana. So I'll give you guys an example of what you can expect to see from them. This is pretty cool. It looks like it's a painting on top of, on a scroll of rocks and down at the bottom are actual real rocks. Wow. I don't connect with that one at all. <laughs> <laughs> Scott hates it. <laughs> and then our last event over at the Zootown Arts Community Center for this evening is their silk screening night. Um, so no registration necessary and you don't have to pay. They just ask for donations. Well, you can bring a bag or a t-shirt or whatever you want to and then you can uh, silk screen one of their house prints on there. So that starts at 5.30. Uh, and then we've got some music for going on for our Friday night. We have an Irish music session at the Union Club at 6 o'clock. Luna Blue will be playing the Tens Food Vineyard and Winery also at 6 o'clock. <laughs> Over at the Missoula Public Library, they've got a worldwide cinema movie. Uh, it's called Glassland from Ireland. That'll be at 7. Showdown will be playing the Sunrise Saloon at 9.30. Uh, Andre Floyd will be playing the Union Club at 9.30. And then our last event for Friday is Amy Helm and the Handsome Strangers will be playing the Top Hat Lounge at 10 o'clock. That's what's going on on your Friday. Up next, Musical Notes with Asaph Adonai. Thank you, Noel. First of all, um, the latest update on Aquaman, <laughs> Michael Phelps. He's done it again, winning four golds in the 200 meter. He also announced that after this 2016 Rio Olympic Games, he's going to retire. Oh, really? And if he does, they always say they're going to retire. I'm leading up to something with my guest. You know, these farewell tours, but well, Michael Phelps says he's going to retire. And I think he should because he should quit while he's ahead. But we'll see. Anyway, in the world of entertainment, I've noticed older performers are always doing farewell tours, including Michael Phelps in a way. They claim these performances are their last performances, and these farewell tours go into two years, five years, even <laughs> 10 years. <laughs> and in 2002 to 2005, our guest on today's musical notes her Living Proof Farewell Tour became the highest grossing concert tour of all time, earning $250 million. Can you believe that? So anyway, our guest on today's musical notes is Sherilyn Sarkisian, known to the world as Cher. And there she is, <laughs> the one and only Cher. And you know, I once, you guys heard me say this once, you know you've arrived when you're a one-name entertainer. Mm -hmm. And Cher is without a doubt the best one-name performer in history. And I forgot to get that clip, but I've got it on my phone if a piece of it will show up on, on this. 
Well, anyway, she, uh, with her former husband, Sonny Bono, had a show called the Sonny and Cher Comedy Hour at that time. And it was seen by two, it was seen by 35 million viewers every week at that time. And it lasted for three seasons. Now, very quickly, to uh, tell you about Cher. Cher won an Academy Award nomination for her role in Silkwood. She also won Best Actress Award at the Cannes Film Festival for her performance in Mask. Pretty good accomplishment there. Cher is an American singer and actress called the Goddess of Pop. What a title. She's known for her distinctive contralto singing style and for having worked in numerous eras of entertainment as well as adopting a variety of styles over the years and appearances during her five decade long career. There she is with David Boy in one of her, her shows. She had a second show called The Cher Show after the Sonny and Cher Comedy Hour ended. And uh, they have done all kinds of albums. In fact, in 1965, Sonny and Cher had a hit called I Got You Babe, which reached number one in the American and British charts. Cher began her solo career in 1966 with her first million selling album called Bang Bang, My Baby Shot Me Down. <laughs> what a title. So this just gives you an idea. Um, and finally, while working on television, there she is with her husband Sonny in those early years. While working on television, she established herself as a solo artist with the U.S. Billboard Hot 100 chart-topping singles with Gypsies, Tramps, and Thieves, Half-Breed, and Dark Lady. And also, she earned 300000 a week in her Las Vegas act from 1980 to 1982. Well, I need to sing instead of play the piano and make that kind of money. <laughs> so finally, Cher has won a Grammy Award in her career. She's won an Emmy Award, an Academy Award, three Golden Globe Awards, the Cannes Film Festival Award, and the special CFDA Fashion Award. And there she is with her daughter at the time, Chastity, and her husband. That was the set of their show. So it'd be impossible, like I usually say, to talk about everything that Cher has ever done. But she has left the world some interesting performances, <laughs> some great costumes. You'd think Liberace had costumes. This lady rules with her costumes. Yeah. She does. And she's left the world some great music, so I'll leave it at that. My uh, grandmother used to play cards with Cher. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> yep. Yeah, they uh, were in the same group of friends, and they used to play cards together back in the 60s. And my they, grandmother uh, also uh, used to go on dates with Elvis, too. Oh, wow. They, I, guess I, they, I guess she didn't yeah. know that Cher would become Cher. Well, Cher was already Cher. Cher was already out. Cher before she came to America. Was she a one-name uh, performer at that I don't know if they she were. Was Shunny, he was, she was part of Sonny and Cher, so I think she was a two-name performer. With her I husband. would think so. Yeah. Yeah. Well, they were, like, not married, but everyone thought they were married. They and they yeah. got married. Uh -huh. It was so weird because when they came over here, it was just like, oh my God, it's such an awesome and uh, <laughs> breath of fresh air couple. It's just like they weren't a couple, they're just friends. Where are they the from? England? I believe so. It doesn't mm. say in my notes, but. I'm pretty sure uh, they're British. I didn't think they were. Oh. I thought they were American. I thought they were from California. Huh. Well, she's from Armenian descent, from what I understand. Oh, okay. Part so of then, Armenian and, uh, I guess when they native. came out, it, it kind of seemed like everyone, it, like especially in the '60s, everyone was from like the British invasion, and mm -hmm. everyone was like, "Oh, all this stuff." Maybe but, they just well. One thing I can tell you about uh, Sonny and Cher, they were surpassing even the Stones at one time. Oh yeah. Their act, especially with that song "I Got You, Babe." Mm -hmm. That song dominated for a very long time. That's very true. Yeah. Nice. Well, thanks, Asa. Sure. So we'll re be right back after this art clip at the Mizzou Art Museum. Thank <laughs> you. 
We've got some community community events for your Saturday and Sunday now. So, up first, we have got our farmers markets. We've got our Missoula farmers market over at the Red X's that starts at 8 a.m. Clark Fork market is at Karis Park at 8 a.m. And then our people's market is on Pine Street at 9 a.m. Uh, uh, like I said, it has been the fair this week, so the fair opens up uh, tomorrow morning. It says 8 a.m., but I bet it's more like 9 or 10. Yeah, but they also have lots of livestock shows, so. Not only do they have terrible but great food and awesome rides, they have lots of animals you can look at, which I think that's pretty fun. I like looking at the pigs because they're so big. It's cool. Uh, over at Splash Montana, they've got a Just for Fun swim meet. It starts at 9 a.m. Um, and so it's for people that are kind of like competitive swimmers but maybe don't want to be competitive, but they also want to like swim with their friends that are other swimmers. I don't really know. It's, it's happening at Splash tomorrow at 9. Uh, okay, so A, over in Playfair Park, which is outside of Splash, Montana, they've got a little farmer's market they're going to set up, it looks like. Um, and so, or you can, okay, no, no, no. So you're going to meet up with people at that park, parking lot, outside of Splash, Montana, and then you're going to bike along to the Missoula Farmer's Market along low stress streets in celebration of National Farmer's Market Week. Oh my gosh. Okay, that's at nine. <clears throat> Uh, over at Dillard's parking lot at the Southgate Mall, they've got a car show for the Montana Hope Project. It starts at 10 a.m. Um, and so the uh, Montana Hope Project is a local nonprofit organization whose mission it is to grant wishes to children in the state of Montana who are critically ill. Nice, so they got a car show benefiting that. Cool. There are paddleboard lessons over at Frenchtown Pond State uh, Park tomorrow from 11 to 12.30 and then 1 to 2.30. Only cost $45. <coughs> Over the Missoula Art Museum, they've got a Saturday family workshop. Uh, it, they are doing cyanotypes. Ooh. Starts at 11 a.m., so 11 to 12.30. It's free. Um, and so it's first come, first serve basis. And you don't have to bring anything. And so cyanotype is creating photographic, photographic images using the simple process using sunlight to develop images. It's pretty cool. I hear that it's hard to do, though. Well, you had that cyanotype. Yeah. So they'll teach you how. It's an anotype. <laughs> Did you guys hear that noise? That was weird. All right. <laughs> that must be the cyanotype trying to take over. Where, where's that voice coming from? <laughs> okay, over at the Missoula Public Library, they got their family story time tomorrow at 11 a.m. Uh, this is a theme story time on the dragon rug, which may include songs and an art activity. Over at the one at the Garden of 1000 Buddhas, they've got a weekly garden tour and meditation. So they've got a tour of the garden at 1 o'clock and then a guided meditation at 2 o'clock. Uh, it doesn't cost anything, but they do ask for donations. An Irish dance class is over at Imagination Brewing Company, so you can learn traditional Irish dance steps um, every Saturday in the Brewer, Brewer's Center for Community Transformation from 2 to 3.30. That's pretty cool. This next event is pretty interesting. This is going to be at the Rocky Mountain Museum of Military History. Um, and that'll be at the Historical Museum at Fort Missoula. And so it's a discussion on African-American soldiers in the Frontier Army. Um, and so this guy, is, his book coincides with the 150th anniversary of the establishment of six black infantry and cal cavalry regiments by the U.S. Congress in 1866. So it's a, called, the book is called Buffalo Soldiers, and the author is John P. Langlier, and he's going to be talking about it and reading from it. So that's pretty cool. It starts at 2 o'clock tomorrow. Over at Ten Spoon Vineyard and Winery at 6 o'clock, it looks like Henny Waters is going to be playing some music, and you can uh, watch the grapes grow. That sounds fun. 
Over the Zootown Arts Community Center, they have got a call to artists. So they're calling artists for the Festival of the Dead already. The Festival of the Dead celebration is not until November, but it looks like they're trying to get a head up and a head, you know, head start on their artists. So it's 6 p.m. Um, or it's not at 6 p.m., but they're, you know, this is call to artists. So if you guys are interested in putting up artwork in the Festival of Dead Parade, you can go to who this website zootownarts.org uh, slash FOTD call to artists. Yep, and it's never too early because the Festival of the Dead is November, November, November. It's true, it's in November, and you also have to kind of get a head start in making your artwork. Yeah. So you can check out that website once again. Oh, right there. Yeah. All right, we've got some Saturday night music now. Starting at 6 p.m. over at Imagination Brewing Company is a Saturday Night Live music series with Crazy Dog Man. <laughs> Ryan Adams and The Shining will be at the Wilma Theater at 7. Trampled by Turtles and Lord Huron will be at Big Sky Brewing Company at 7.30. Stand Up Stella Reunion Concert will be at the Zach at 8 o'clock. Absolutely with Chris Moon at the Badlander at 9. Uh, B-Side Players, which is a Curtis Mayfield tribute band, will be at the Top Bat Lounge at 9. Uh, then Stand By Me, this is a 30th anniversary screening of a film, will be at the Roxy Theater at 9.30. So Stand By Me is about um, four Oregon boys who learn that a stranger has been killed near their rural homes. So they decide to go see the body, um, which is, you know, they just check it out. But then it uh, causes a bunch of adventures for them. Ah! So, <laughs> that's at 9.30. And then my last event for Saturday is Troublesome. We'll be playing the Sunrise Saloon at 9.30 as well. So now, I've got a couple events going on on Sunday. On Sunday, at uh, the Barn Movement Studio, they've got Ula at 1.30. Drop-in rate is $4 per person or $20 a month for unlimited access. <clears throat> The Rocky Mountain Ballet Theater have the Hip Hop Workshop at 4 o'clock on Sunday. Um, it's going to be Aiden Cranberry of the LA Mignotics and Gloria Kuffman School of Dance at USC. Classes from 4 to 6. Um, yeah, that sounds awesome. Imagination Brewing Company at 5 o'clock, they've got jazz on the river. And so I would think that they're just going to be playing like a jazz band in their back patio, which is on the river at 5. How <laughs> nice. Over at the Roxy Theater, they've got a mindful movie. Their mindful movie is uh, called On Meditation. And so what it is, is just going to be taking a look at the deeply personal practice of meditation through the eyes of the individual practicer. And then they'll have a, um, it'll be like 10 portraits of people who like to meditate. I don't know. Sounds great. Starts at five. And then our event that we've all been looking uh, forward to and that we heard about last week is a symphony in the park at 7 p.m. at Karis Park. Uh, like uh, Dar Darko Burderak said, you want to show up early, so get there at like 5, 5.30 to secure a good spot. And it's going to be a tribute to lots of 80s, and then they'll also have their classics. Should be good. Couple more musical events for it was your Sunday night. Uh, Jamestown Revival will be playing the Top Hat Lounge at 8. Jazz Martini Night at the Bad Laner at 9. And Kaleidoscope Karaoke will be at the Sunday Soon Loon also at 9. So that's what's going on in your weekend, you guys. Check out MissoulaEvents.net, the University of Montana website, the Independent, or the Missoulian for more of your community events. And like I promised, we have the sequel to uh, Get Bob that we just showed you earlier in the show instead of new programming on MCAT because there's not much new programming on MCAT. Um, it's called Get Bob 2. <laughs> oh. It's already on YouTube. You can watch it pretty much any time. Uh, but it's a nice uh, three-minute movie. So, uh, guys, uh, enjoy uh, Get Bob Part 2 that was just filmed yesterday. I miss Bob. It's Bob. <laughs> Bob, it's you. Hey. Bob, I'll never let you go again. Give up, give up. Oh. Uh -uh. Now leave Bob alone. This cook is too big for me. Buy me a new one. Nobody can have as fresh a style as me. I'm too evil to have a s evil hat. That's why I have a snowflake hat. You guys settle down. Let's go. Uh. from outer space was kidnapped. Who's Bob? He's more of a what? What is Bob? He's more than my friend. That's all you need to know. Here's Bob. Oh, no, Thank Bob. you so much. Now that we have Bob, he can rule the world. Uh, I will rule the world. Of course. What did we learn from Bob? 
Well, we learned that he's from outer space Dang. and he's very, very old. <sighs> but if that kid tries to get Bob back, then what are we gonna do? There's only one of him and five of us. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta go rescue Bob. That's suicide. Yeah. Got an idea. Who are you? He is huge. <laughs> this is serious. I'm sorry, but that's just really funny. This is my power suit. You chose to wear that? It chose me. Give Bob back. about it. You guys shouldn't laugh. Yeah, or we're, we're going to release our secret weapon. I'm not afraid of anything. Me neither. My evil calculations, four against three. That was so delightful. What a delightful little <laughs> sequel. That was pretty funny. I love making videos with children because they've got the best imagination. And, and they're, they're ridiculous. So they're, they're ridiculous. They're and it's like ridiculous. super awkward. And yeah. it's just like, uh, words. Yeah, it's so <laughs> cute. I love it. It's a blast. Well, yeah. thanks, you guys. Thanks for watching. Yeah, thanks for joining us this morning yeah. on Wake Up Missoula. We'll be back Monday. Here's where you can find out more information about Wake Up Missoula is our website, wix.com slash wakeupmissoula. You can find us there. You can also find us on our Facebook page. You can follow us on our Twitter page at Wake Up Missoula. Missoula Community Access Television also has a Twitter page. You can follow us at MCAT TV Missoula. You can like us on Facebook, and to find out more information, just check us out on MCAT.org. Yep. But, of course, I'm going to end the show a little bit differently this time. We have a nice little uh, video montage of some of the Boys and Girls Club. Cute. So, uh, thanks for joining us. Uh, thank you, ASAP, for uh, joining us and talking about Cher, the one and only. The yeah. One and only. <laughs> Household name. Yep. So, uh, yeah, thanks, guys. Thank uh, you very much. And then Monday, we'll all next week, we'll be talking about the Fringe Fest. Yeah, we so, will. So, um, go check out Symphony in the Park this Sunday. It's going to be great. The fair's going on. There's always plenty of stuff going on. You can see some animals, see some pigs, see some cows, bovines. Great time. Birds, you know, ride some rides, fowls, eat some bad fair food. You see some um, rabbits. Yeah, yeah battle whatever. of the bands. Battle of bands is also at the fair, which I think is pretty interesting. Oh. But thanks, they you guys. They always have battle of the bands. Yeah. yeah. All so right. Wake up, Missoula. My name is Noel McAvoy. And I'm Scott Rav. And here you go. We'll see you Monday.